Designing flyers in Canva shouldn't be difficult for you at all. Wow! Why? And why am I saying so? Because you have me over here, so I don't know why this should be difficult for you. So look, in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be teaching you how to create a very simple flyer. But let me just let you know that this is a professional one. And every single thing you need to know on how you can create this flyer would be explained in this video. And there are some simple tweaks, you know, that I believe would also help you to level up with your design or even any design at all you get to create inside of Canva. So don't go anywhere. I should be back. Hey everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on this channel, look, I think subscribing to this channel would be firelistic. Viewers, apologize, I'm continuing. <laughs> I don't even know what came over me, but look, I think it would be good to subscribe to this channel. And if you're an OG, look, massive respect to you. I really appreciate your support because you coming over here every time makes me always want to create more tutorials. Wait a minute. And yes, without any further ado, let's jump straight to it and let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble. This is what we are going to be creating today and it really looks very simple and off the bat you feel like ah this is very easy yes it is easy okay so we'll just create a new page over here and we have just a blank sheet so the first thing we are going to do is to come in you know colors and we'll just choose any color at all okay so first of all i'm going to use the blue and interestingly we can now use gradient in canva this is something you should know by now and if you didn't know then i think you're not following me because i also get to provide you with all the quick updates that comes in canva so yeah make it a point to follow me or something so let's start on it okay so the first thing i'll just do is to choose any blue color at all maybe this blue color should be fine right then once you choose it you know just hover your cursor on it and you should see this sliding thing over there so come into gradient and already you can see we have some gradient over here but we don't want to use a pink even though this is also like some cool gradient but that's not the color i want i would still come to the blue but choose a lighter blue and you can see what we have and we have some interesting gradient styles over here so you can choose this linear gradient over here or anyone at all that works fine with you i think you can just go in for that but i like this third option all right all right so once you do that make sure you are pressing on c for circle increase the size of your circle okay and position it somewhere here now come into your border style and make sure you are clicking on the regular border style or the line border style. i don't know what's name this is and with the border width we will increase it to 100 okay so 100 should be fantastic okay then come back go into the color and make sure you are seeing this no color all right all right then come back into the border style no the border color actually then we come into this color which is a8 e a f f okay that's the color and just in case you're wondering how i got to know i don't know this off my head once i hovered my mouse over the color i just saw it so yeah that's <laughs> that's with it all right all right then duplicate it and uh, position it somewhere here all right all right okay then once we have this i think that's the basic thing we need to set up okay yeah so now let's come into our uploads and we are going to find any image at all okay that has some nice vibe okay or you can just choose any image of your choice okay but i'm going to use a guy wearing a suit because this event is actually going to be a business kind of like event okay so i would come into my recently used images but you can go into photos and choose any photo at all you want and i'll select this image over here okay so what we are going to do next is we are going to remove the background of our image because obviously you know that this time around it's always good to be using images with no background and if you're on the free version of canva this can be a struggle so what i have for you is i have a link in the description box below that should help you to start using canva pro for free you understand canva pro for free so please check it out and aside you being able to remove the background of your images inside of canva pro you can remove the background of your videos you can add you know custom font you can also have multiple brand kits just in case you're working with a client you have more animation options and you even have more functionality when it comes to animations in canva you there are more things you can do in terms of tweaking your animations to make them work the way you want them to make so there are actually so many things you can do in canva pro and i want to give you this opportunity to do this in canva so please check out the link in the description box below and you know join me after you are done 
moving to Canva Pro. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so I'm just so excited. So come into edit photo, then we'll choose VG remover and you can see just within, you know, um, how is it called? Just within a snap, you know, the background has been removed. And that's one thing I love about Canva now because they've actually improved so many things in the software. All right, so you can see what I'm doing. This is where I want my image to be. And I'll just drag my circle over here so that they all meet where he is. Okay, so that because he's the focal point, you understand? Now, the next thing we're going to do is to add some text to our, you know, design. So I would first of all press, you know, just to click away and press T on my keyboard for text. I'll position it over here and increase the size. Okay, so then come into, you know, the font area and we'll choose Antonio Bold. You can use any text at all for your title. So I'm just going to say how to get ahead in life this is my title and i hope this is an event you would love to actually attend you know if it was actually a real event <laughs> yeah how to actually get ahead in life so we would increase the size something like this okay and position it here and we are going to change the color to white okay because it's actually the best thing we can do so we position it here and i can make it more bigger all right so you can see what we've done then the next thing i want us to do is to add a theme okay if only you're event is going to have a theme you know i think this is something you can do all right so press r on the keyboard okay then you can just position it over here and maybe stretch it out a little bit do something cute like this come to the border style and the rounding we are going to add some rounding to it maybe 15 should be okay all right then i'll come to the border style and choose you know the line for it come to the color itself and remove the color so i don't want any color for this okay then i come to the border color and come to border color okay then change the color to white once i do that i'll press around my keyboard again okay and i would reduce this to something like this increase the size and position this over here like that all right all right okay so something fantastica all right then we come to border style and we also would increase the border style to 15 no not 153 one five and yes this is what we have and with this i want us to add a gradient so oh, it is orange i yeah, come to gradient and you know yeah this gradient is cute so orange and a pink or we can use orange and a red okay so just in case you don't know what gradients are gradient are just transitions from one color to the other okay so it's always good to use colors that are next to each other so that your gradient can make sense okay so yeah so um i'll reduce this a little bit and uh, okay so something like this so i'll press t on my keyboard for a text and i'll position it over here and i'll just say theme all caps okay so theme okay and i'll position it here and i would actually want it to consume a lot of space so i will just come to spacing and letter spacing now increase it to something like that okay which is actually cool then we come to the color and we change the color to white right and because we reduce the spacing and because we reduce the size of this shape i think we'll actually have to decrease the rounding okay so that we have something like this so this is actually cool then we can put our text in here so i'll just come here and select this text and then copy it and paste it over here okay so something sweet something nice something delicious okay so i position this here and funny enough as i'm speaking i haven't even had breakfast so you can imagine how my stomach is rumbling as i'm speaking <laughs> yeah so as we have this over here i think the next thing we can do is to add the extra details and this should be something very cool so all i did was i just duplicated this theme we have over here you know the shape we have over here so we'll do the same thing so duplicate it position it here okay and increase it to the same size then maybe let me just copy the text over here okay so copy and paste okay just to save you some time all right all right all right so i position it here all right then we can duplicate the text have it here and i think the next thing we added was the time okay so we'll just come here and see 6 p.m okay so 6 p.m to 8 p.m each night okay so each night and that's something we can have over here and i think it looks good good you know yeah then the other thing is we added some location so we'll come into element search for location you know reduce the size of it lovely what javli you know and i think once you've been watching this tutorial for some time it's actually good to know some of the terms 
for example if i say all right you just have to respond all right and if i say lovely you just have to say javli so lovely javli all right all right so you know this is something i think you should know by now if this is your first time welcome to the gang because we've been ganging and banging working and learning designing and earning <laughs> Apologize, I'm continue. You know, <laughs> yeah, so change the color of this. Don't mind me. I know this is supposed to be a short tutorial, but I'm messing up. So it's going to be live on Zoom. Maybe if you prefer Google Meet, you can also use Google Meet. Okay, so live on Zoom. And yes, this is it. Would we'll also position it here, and this is actually cool. So we are going to add, you know, the logo in here. So you can, if you have a custom logo, you can add it. But if you are also just trying your hands to learn something new, this is what you can do. You can come into Element, okay, and just search for logo. Okay, once you search for logo, you should see some interesting logos over here. You can choose any one at all of your choice. I'll use this one for this tutorial even though i use a different one this one looks like transformers wow so i will reduce the size come here and use you know this color over here then we'll just add some text to it so i will duplicate this and i'll say alpha men gang okay then we will just duplicate this position this year and i'll just put a tagline we work to win the game I select all and make it sm smaller so you know i just had to come up with a quick name and position over here and this is what we have so you can see here we added some extra text and the thing is just in case there are some extra information you need your audience to know you can actually fix you can actually fix it in there okay but yeah that's with it the last thing we want to do is add the name of our guest okay or of our speaker so i'll add a circle come here and we can just add the gradient circle in there and i will select you know this shape over here bring it inside come to the color and make the color white okay then duplicate this position it in here come to color and use the orange for it okay then come to spacing change the spacing to zero then we'll change the you know the text to speaker all right then what we'll do is i'll duplicate this and position his name this is not his name so his name is mr benjamin i'm using my name because i don't know whose name to use benjamin alfredo my name is not alfredo but we'll just use it alfredo okay then i'll position this here and i can increase the size and also with the spacing i'll reduce the spacing like this and we'll have it somewhere like that okay maybe if the circle is too big we'll reduce the circle a little bit the benjamin should be uh -huh, good this is what i wanted to actually do and i think if the text is too big reduce it all right all right okay so this is what we actually have and just make sure everything is centered okay even in this so we we'll center it it's not centered but uh, i centered now select everything you can group it to make it easy to move things around so you can position it over here and one last thing i want us to do is the image doesn't fit or it's not matching the vibe of the image is not matching the vibe of our design in terms of the colors so this is what i can do all right so i'll just select it come into edit photo and in edit photo i'll go into adjust and with a tint or temperature i can increase it or decrease it but i want to reduce it because it makes it bluish which makes it match the colors in our design okay so you can see it's giving you know it's giving you know it's giving sweetness it's giving lovely design it's giving everything you need to have in your design and this is one beautiful design we have easily created in canva and look there are more tutorials i have on my youtube channel and there are even more um coming up because i feel like my old designs because i feel like my old tutorials are outdated since canva has come up with some new you know tutorials since canva has come up with some new updates and all that so there are new tutorials that are going to come up and you wouldn't want to miss this so make sure you're smashing on the subscribe button make sure you're liking this video to support the video because look we've been getting low views for some time now and i just want to know if you like this video so if you like it just smash on the like button and with that being said the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video i know you could do it all you gotta do is put your mind to it wake up i'm on to the next new day i gotta do my best uh, every day i put the work in the grind never
stop, you ain't never see me rest. See me on top, I never.